So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a tonic cover for under $100 for your truck. That actually looks pretty darn good, I'm not gonna lie. Half inch plywood, two sheets, 14 feet of one by one angle iron, and you need some bolts and some wing nuts. That's pretty much it. So what you wanna do is lay your boards on first. You're gonna scribe the lines on the inside. That way you can get your box shape so that you can set your two by, or your, uh, your plywood down so it's flush with the top of your box. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So you can see we've got our lines here. So we're gonna cut that and we'll scribe a line all the way across. Cut that and that's the back piece. We'll cut these lines out and that'll be our front piece and that'll fit in there perfectly when we weld our ang angle iron on. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, so we got our pieces whacked out. So now we've got to cut the angle iron to length. So I'm gonna take out this little screw here and we're gonna cut our angle iron to length and then weld it right to the side of the box. So I'm gonna cut it at 75 inches. I think that'll work perfect. Okay, so we got our pieces cut here. Now we have to fasten them to the side of the box. I was going to weld it, but I think what's easier is just, I'm gonna drill three holes in each piece and then we will self tap it just to this and that way I can remove them if I want. So now that we've got our holes drilled, we are going to screw this angle iron onto the box side like this and we're gonna set it down as far as we can so, so that our tonic cover sits level with the top of the box side or at least close to it. Screws in. All right, so now you can see we've got the rails here uh, screwed on. So now what we're gonna do is make sure our sheets fit, and they should fit perfectly because we scribed the lines. So let's test that out. So it fits pretty good, honestly. You can see how I cut this curve in right here. Matches the box. I'm gonna have to shave this down a little bit here. And then um, same with right here. I'm gonna have to shave that down a little. But otherwise it fits good and you can see again, when you scribe the line, it doesn't matter if you've cut your box down or anything. And then the tailgate, there's a little bit of a gap there, but that's okay. Now, what I'm gonna do and it might be different what other people want to do. I'm going to drill a hole. I got it sitting where I want it. I'm going to drill a hole right through here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is put a bolt up from the bottom of the angle iron and weld the head to the uh, angle iron on the bottom. And then I'm going to put a wing nut with a washer on top of that. Now, there's lots of different ways you can do this. You could do straps. There's lots of different ways. Now, I'm just trying to get it, you know, pretty easy to use and cheap. Trying to do this whole thing for under 100 bucks, um, which I don't think will be too hard. So I got these wing nuts here. I'm gonna do one on each corner of the big piece and then two, one in each there on that. So what I'm gonna do now is drill these holes and we'll put the bolts through and should be pretty easy and pretty slick. So now what we'll do is take our bolt, I'm just gonna put it like that. I'm gonna put a nut on here to keep it centered where I want it. Something like that. And then we'll take the welder 
and weld on the bolt underneath here. What I'm going to do now is take this off and we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to put a super cool finish on this to kind of match the, you know, rusty vibe that I've got going on. All right, so we've got our board here and you can do this with a little torch. I'm going to do it with a big one because it's easier, a, a tiger torch, but we are going to make this look super cool. All right, so we got her done. It turned out okay. I think it looks good. I could put another coat of clear coat on there. Um, put the uh, wing nuts on there. I think that looks pretty good. It's not super convenient and not super fast to take off, but it'll at least hold it down good. Not worried about that. And it kind of matches the truck with the burnt look. It's kind of a different tone of brown, but it's all good. Anyway, if you guys like the video, you know, tell me what you like. Maybe if you have some good ideas for a latch, put it on a comment, subscribe, like, you know, all that stuff. Hope you guys have a good day.